Off to a very good start. Funny's trying to get some revenge damage in here, but Puppy, well, he doesn't have enough for a second soul assumption, at least. What a huge mistake from zone 2 from the offlane. Um, e is still getting a lot of farm, but Legion's doing all right. He's got about 10 and Wisp has 2, so... It's, there, it's taking them a lot more hero resources, though, which is definitely a problem, which means that PL is basically getting an entire free farm, and he's getting a lot less pressure than the AM does. Uh, Seneca's is really isolated. Puppy was waiting for this, and the blink forward. There is stick charges, but Wee has rotated himself in. Seneca will end up ticking out, and Funic trying to find some kind of revenge kill over on Puppy, but the chance of that after he gets united is now nothing. He can't catch up to him. And, well, for the heavy commitment of heroes, they have just turned the tide of this top lane. It's a seven-second cooldown. It's by far one of the best abilities. I know, it's just because I'm used to watching Lena as well as SF just mop up those camps with just a couple of races, but you're right, efficiency-wise, it's quite good. Very low mana. Oop, a hookshot coming bottom. Uh, Bot comes in, blows up heal. Well, that's one way to do it. Sorry, I was actually watching Sna Is Snaker gonna live? Oh. Weeha wants to dive this. Like, he's coming close, but it's a little bit too close now, so PSM's gonna push oh. him back, but with Bounty on a right behind him, the mana cost isn't, the mana isn't there, but then when they get the Shadow Strike off, Snaker's gonna go down. So it's a double kill for Weeha. Mm. Nice play by Pilot. With this situation, you were talking about it before with Na'Vi doing this whole four heroes really trying to make a lot of chaos and then like Havorst just comes in and carries the game. But Envy's off to a great start and Havorst actually building in for a very early Vladimir's offering on this PL. A very unconventional item is now. Misery hook shots in. Seneko's going to go down. This is now his fifth death. Out of the seven that Secret have managed to get in. Pretty nicely, and it's going to keep your team strong. And oh, it's Dendi split push, but. starts the RP over on Weeha. These familiars of Poppy, though, are chasing after it and really inflicting a lot of damage, especially when Weeha has a Sonic Wave available. Dendi, well, the familiars drop, but they're a little bit too far away. Envy was coming in for the kill secure with the Mana Void. A couple of illusions, and uh, now understands which one's the real Havost. And they just get all around him. And Will, he will be able to doppelganger himself away. And actually, Pilot Eye, so smart. He didn't track at the start, realizing doppelganger would happen, so they do get the bonus money. That was really nicely done, and they but it's just going to take a while. I just know how you get around this. Well, this could be a kill. Yeah, they have the sentry warp. They have to RP just to hold Pilot Eye here. And this is good for Funic. It's extra damage. It's a dual win. And it's a pick off on a bounty hunter. It's not worth as much because he is the lowest net worth of uh, team. Trying to find an opening, and what can Bounty Hunter really do? Like, he tracks up on someone, and then you just press the attack, you get rid of it. It's actually going to be one of the hardest... Oh, that hook shot! Right in front of Dendi. The track will will allow for that little bit of a uh, extra bonus movement, because they have a stun, they have battery assault, they have Kog to push him back. That's an entire yeah. team of Secret coming in to kill off Dendi. Roshan. The Observer Ward sees Weeha. As Funix starts to press the attack, but they're going to kill Puppy. So, it will be a dual victory. But somehow I feel like they wanted a lot more than just a Visage. Oh, that was actually worth it. He had a mega kill streak. <laughs> Wait. I, 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 yeah. That's how good Puppy was doing. Mega kill streak on him. So, more more damage to Legion Commander. And Wisp actually was the one to get that. So, that's going to help out his items a lot. Puppy hasn't gotten kills in ages. But the, the Dendi is hoping he can at least catch up to Misery here. He'll have to RP if he's going to commit. The relocate's coming in as well. They could potentially skew up, but then again, Weeha, the Sonic Wave to pop. Ayo's already gone down, and Misery has trapped Dendi in long enough. He's had to skewer himself out of it, but Weeha picks up the Lena as well. Dendi stuns his TP. There are no more stuns. The damage output! He dropped down to 80 life. Havorst is charging in, trying to find more, Ooh. and they start the duel on Weeha. This could be big. He buys the O Club, accepts his fate. And ends up dying. At the same time, the Radiant Courier ended up getting picked off. That had the Diffusal Blade. Ooh. Okay. It actually came I, I, into the fight exactly where they all died and actually lost the Diffusal Blade of Avost. These illusions so. are coming over. The secret trap is it, it, up. They realize like, the Solar Crest is nice and quick over on Puppy, but it's just not enough. They're relocating in and Puppy realizes his problem. He needs to actually Grave Chill and get out of here, accepts his nice. fate, and Funny gets another dual win. Now 52 bonus damage on this Legion Commander. They're going to go in for Roshan. And it looks I mean, like secretly letting it happen. They're moving over towards the T1 tower. Funna can actually carry this game. Like, every damage he gets, it's also increased by 50% from Empower, so... Oh, Hulk shot! shot oh, Misery! He goes in for the fight! Roshan's gonna be pushed back by the Cogs. Isolation's gonna be there. It's a nice Sonic Wave. And where's the extra damage? It wasn't enough. Not from the Mana Void, but Weeha. Roshan, he's still battling it out inside the pit. Four heroes down for Na'Vi. The fifth is up. It's any trying to TP out. The Familiars won't get there in time. The Scream cooldown will. Weeha takes a triple kill. And Secret will secure Roshan.
That was not the way I saw that playing out in my mind. That Envy is at the point where he's finished a full Manta style. That's a mechanism as well for the bounty. Looks like top plane is a duel over on the Queen of Pain, so we will drop. Phonic now up to 66 bonus damage on this hero. A 12 minute, 13 minute PL instead of having the Diffusal Blade on top of it, so definitely hurt things and they had more mana to fight and all that stuff. Man, Misery, such great play. Starts with a rocket, follows up with a hook shot and Seneco will drop. That was all Misery right there. He's been doing really well transitioning back into offlane, considering he played support for like a very, very long time recently. Duel in set uh, six actually, he's gonna wait. Uh, he need, might need a little bit of help though. That lands from Vost will drop it down. Starts with press the attack and then Puppy. Well, familiar drop one, familiar drop two. They can't get any damage and the mana void will arrive. Vonnik and Vost so low. The Cleave's doing his work and they're gonna oh lose both God. of them. This, even with the Shuriken toss, they go in deeper. Envy, the four stop's gonna be there from Dendi to try and save his, his uh, captain PSM. But they chase him even deeper. Envy needs another two attacks. That's one. There's two by Dandy actually helping him, scurrying him closer towards the Lena. They go in underneath the tier three and actually underneath the tier four towers. They have to get out of here. Team Secret will come back for the tier two tower, but what a fight. In fact, did they just go back in again? Yep, they did. They went up to Seneco. A message has been sent by Secret. This is their first game back, and it is one hell of a fight for them. No kidding. Uh, I feel like that was more obvious mistakes than Secret playing well there. They just tried to kill the Visage who has 1300 HP and a Solar Crest. They missed so many times and they didn't even min max their damage either. Legion Commander didn't hit with the Shadow Blade first. He casted Press the Attack and then he attacked. But if he would have hit with Shadow Blade first, he would have had a slightly better chance to get the kill. But the Bird Stun just interrupted everything and there's no damage. Mm -hmm. And what are you even meant to do from this point? A Vorse isn't ready to fight. Clockwork, uh... Hookshot's coming off cooldown in a moment, Funnick. Looking to try and grab someone. But no one's really close enough for him. Jumps forward after the birds, but Puppy, they grave chill. He pressed the attack to get rid of that uh, of that track, but the Soul Assumption damage not really that high up from Puppy. The birds are back in, but Nem Weeha hits a great Sonic wave. Funnick is just so low. Envy can really capitalize, but it's the Queen of Pain to find the kill. And even Misery is killing off the Phantom Lancer. Havorce had so much around him, but. They've lost their bottom ranks. The only thing that will stop Secret right now is the fact that the Tier 2 towers are still up in both the other lanes. They'll just wait till next Roshan, most likely. Put the Aegis on Maternal Envy or somebody else, maybe. And uh, keep Navi in their base. They'll only get two or three creep waves. The bot lane is not a whole lot of farm. Oh, it's a really short spawn time on Roshan, too. Are they actually... Okay, yep. Yeah. Clockwork gonna get caught out by the Ninja Commander. They moved up with a relocate, but PSM, Sonico can take him back in about 5 seconds, but then again, he won't survive 5 seconds, PSM, solo, they're going in deeper. Then he's on a half-life, they get the track over on a horse, he's got Doppelganger to get away, however. But Envy is making the most out of this, they attack into the tier 3 tower, the bottom lane's already pushed in, and it's no more backdoor regeneration, and they burn the fortification here. Clockwork, the only one to go down. And Envy's just too tanky, because he's got every ability to disengage when those familiars are there. They all drop down at the same time, so the stuns are available and Dendi. Ooh. Well, he came up. I don't know if he was looking for an RP. He tried to skewer, but it was like a point blank skewer. I think he misclicked or something. Because he could have brought Puppy back towards their building and they might have been able to get him, but won't even hit him most of the time. Yep. Maybe not most, but I think AC is going to be the build on Quap here, to be honest. Like, uh, obviously, Chivas is very good, but AC on Quap is just going to help a lot towards killing tanky heroes like Legion Commander. He can right click a lot harder as well. It's pretty common on Quap nowadays. I like it a lot. Dandy gets a skewer over on Anti Mage, but oh, Funnick also starts the duel, but it was on an illusion. The Sonic Wave will connect. They've lost two in a blink of an eye. Soneko is about to go down as well. The relocate actually is the only thing that will save him here. And they try and turn around, but Secret are back to objective based gaming. They're taking out the range racks. They can't duel onto uh, Anti Mage. One, because duel's on cooldown. And two, he's protected by Lincolns. So not even a PL illusion to make life a little bit more difficult for him. And that is GG. Riley, so 31 to 9, Team Secret.